Okay. So hopefully this is recording all right. Um, Ray from Rocks Innkeeper. What? I don't remember doing that before the storm. Okay, so we are level... We're level, uh, 17. Yeah. Why well, is it like I always have perks to increase every time I come here? Well, maybe they're just unspent. Um. I'm trying to think where my first... Dwemer dungeon is supposed to be. I think I was going to do that quest, uh, what was it? Command animal. No, that's not it. Where's my... Where's the book set? Don't you just love this paper menu? Is this not a quest? Oh. Okay, so it's right here. Alright, where is... I like playing in first person. This reminds me of Daggerfall, even though I suck at it. Confusing as all hell. Okay, so that's the, uh... The little, uh... Who the hell is this? Piss off. You drop this? Some kind of note. Looks important. I'm not interested in any of your fucking shit. So in case you all forgot, because it's been like a three month break, this is the Dwemerologist playthrough. I'm not going to go back and recap every single damn thing. Because uh, we didn't really accomplish that much. How the hell do I get off of here without breaking my neck? Oh. You know, I think we can handle some Thalmers, or not Thalmers, Thalmers! Without, uh... Without dying. I think. What happened to you, Pump? The Force Warned have taken Pulse Gaker mine. All those stupid bastards. No, honey. 
We don't need that one. Don't you love it when the graphics on your game are so bright that you need sunglasses? I'm sure that there will be some kind of... <laughs> I'll speak of the devil. A fucking crab of all things. You better run, Mr. Goat. Cause I eat meat, you know, I am a Bosmer, and it's what I do. Oh, oh a spriggin honey, oh, there aren't supposed to be spriggins out here, what? What in the hell does that make sense? There have never been Spriggans out in the Reach. I have never encountered Spriggans out here. Ever. Oh, who's hostile towards me? Is it the goat? Come on, Satan. Come on. Come on. Show me your true form. Come on. You motherfucker. I'm gonna go Blair Witch on your ass. Get over here, bitch. Well, don't mind me. I'm just... I'm just swimming along, you know, but... I don't mean any harm to you. I'm confused. No. <laughs> now you're dead. Oh. Oh my. Oh. 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 Haha, uh -huh, you stupid cunt. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Winnie the Pooh. Fucking asshole. You know, Skyrim is the most realistic Elder Scrolls game to date. Just imagine, just imagine how much more realistic number six is going to be. All Outlander, by the code of Malakath. Oh, shut the fuck up! Along. We won't kill you, Outlander, but we don't want. To yeah, kill yeah, yeah. Remember You're an that. orc. He barely passes as human. You don't want me here, or the people of Skyrim don't want you here. How about that? If you think about it, Skyrim does have a number of callbacks to older games in the series. Like, uh, you know, Daggerfall, Arena...
the fuck is this asshole? Oh. Look who it is, honey. Don't tell me what to do. You bastard. Oh, of course, he doesn't have anything good on him. Nobody even wants your kind here. How about that? Supposedly this rumble, just now... Oh, you fucking cunt! <laughs> fucking cunting wolves. The rumble that y'all heard just now was exact moment where the ghost girl died. Karita or Katria. I forget what her name is, but we'll find out soon enough. <sighs> and I think this is also a pretty good introduction to uh, Dwemer Ruins, I think. Let's see. What's our sneak level 35? Well, I mean, it's not great. Those won't warrant much money, will they? What do you all think of this marble texture? This is from a mod I downloaded, because it doesn't normally look like that. I think it's gorgeous. I think Skyrim's a very pretty game. Uh, what? What? It's a long story. You ever heard of Ethereum? A rare mineral used by the dwarves. Supposedly, they had to build a special forge. Her voice sounds different from what I remember. The items it made were so powerful, they went to war over it, and the forge was lost. Or so the story goes. I spent my life tracking down that legend until my damn apprentice stole everything from me. Those damn elves. Under his own name. And now, now I can't rest. Not until I have proof. Something to show the world that I discovered, what I did, that my life mattered. But it's hopeless. I died here, just like all the others. Turn back. Turn back before you become the next victim. Ooh. Hmm, maybe so. Then again, I thought I could too. I'm not going to talk you out of it, am I? I know. I know. I was just like you once. Then you took an arrow in the knee. Well, if you want to reach the summit, you're going to need some help. You want a hand? All right. Lead on, then. Uh, so this ghost lady is gonna follow us. Isn't that fun? wasn't always like this. Best preserved dwarven city I'd ever laid eyes on. And then the earthquake hit. Now, you'd be lucky to find a single room intact. Did 
Does she just die, or did she die a while ago? Well, there's the Falmer to start with. Deadly rapids, major earthquakes, massive chasms, unstable ground, lethal falls. And then you get to the real danger. We can discuss that when the time comes. If it comes. I fell. When the earthquake hit, the ground just opened up. Even so, I almost made it. Another foot or two to the side and the water would have broken my fall, but nothing I could do. That sucks. Okay. So we can just very carefully You don't mind if I take these, do you? Yes. Oh, never mind. Let's see. Let's see what your journal has to say. Let's see here. Damn that skeeving elf. Damn him. He steals my notes, my discovery, publishes under his name. 20 years of my life spent digging through those ruins. And what do I get? A dedication? friend and calling my ass. He's just mocking me. Well, I'll have the last laugh. Terran may have my theory, but he doesn't have any proof. Not yet. If I can find the forge first, I can show the world that this is my discovery. Mine, not his. Fourth of last seed. I've got a lead. One of the moldy old books in Mazund mentioned... Don't you just love to remember names? Mazund mentioned the forge. Ruined. Through and through. But I was able to copy down a few scraps, including a map of the first era Dwemer kingdoms. I need to cross-reference it with the modern borders when I get back. That's a little map. Here's the result. Arkanthems. This one, Arkanthems, was on the inscription too. The main Ethereum Research Center. Seems like the place to start. Mentioned as a Betharzil allied city. Not Bethardems, though. Looks like a smaller site. These are basically where you would go to uh, find Ethereum pieces and whatnot, and it ties into Black Reach. Just as an, an extra little, an extra little add-on thing. Store site for raw Ethereum, just outside a major city. Apparently, had to be kept outside because Ethereum was harmonically volatile. No name, no identifying information, but page after page. Of ruined diagrams couldn't make out much, but it looks like an astro astrolabe, a gear, some sort of crest in four pieces. Could this be the location of the forge? Something important, at least. Arthams, my map may be rough, but it was enough to get me here. There may be something to this after all. Reach the treasury. There's a tonal lock here. Still active, judging from the corpses. It's safe to say the trap is still active too. Couldn't find any clues. So I'll make a sketch. Five resonators, five tones. Okay, yeah, that was the important part that we needed to read. And, uh. There's, uh, some dead bodies of the Falmer. I think we're going the right way. Are we? Are we going the right way? Oh, we're not. We're not going the right way. Can you? Thank you. You know, I should be able to pass through you since you're a ghost. And I don't want to die. Oh, there's like a little... There's a little treasure cove down here. That little Dumac that you saw there, those coins, those are from the Legendary Coin mod. Or whatever it's called. This water is modded water too. It's like 
realistic water too, or something like that. I'm, I'm sure I, I know I mentioned it before, but it's been months since I picked up this game. Because I got invested in playing the King's Quest uh, reboot games. And uh, I just didn't really feel like gaming for a while and the whole Morgan's Drag Race. over here it's funny how Skyrim runs I mean I'm playing on a shit PC this is this is by no means a gaming computer but Skyrim runs better than New Vegas or Fallout 3 and I just I just find that to be weird Oh, honey, come on, come on, sweetie, come on. You can sell those back and make some some money. It's all flooded. Oh. Where the hell is the... Oh, right. You're supposed to walk over the pipe. This game triggers my anxiety so much. I don't have a bow, do I? Nope. I don't. I wonder if I can firebolt it. Looks like it does work. Oh shit. Come on, don't fail me now. Come on. Come on. Yeah, like those Dumat coins. Beautiful. I had a bow. How did he die? <gasps> I have never seen that happen before, ever. Oh, 
Does he have a bow, honey? No. Oh, he does have a bow. I'm not going to be a stealth archer. Oh look, it's Mr. Magoo! I'll be taking my arrows back. Thank you. Ooh. I hate those elves. They barely even count as elves. They're worse than the orcs. Let me tell you. There's a chest in there. Doors seem to turn down. Are you guys excited that uh Skyrim turns uh, 10 this year. It's pretty exciting stuff, isn't it? So if you were 10 when Skyrim came out, then you, you should be about 20 come November. Or Well, yeah, that's when Skyrim turns 20, or it turns 10. An arena turned 20 in 2014 because it came out in 1994 and it was 10. Oh, you son of a bitch. Did you see that? It teleported. New Vegas, you can improve the quality of weapons um, just by having a duplicate of it. But uh, since there's no deterioration in Skyrim or Fallout 4, it's there's no need to uh, carry. There's no need to carry duplicates around. off because there's no need to have it on. It's it's just generating more heat at this point.
Oh, good. There's more. I do. Okay, I don't think there's any enemies in here because this. Here's where I fell. Feels like ages ago. Hey, there's my bow. There, out on. Because this leads to the. Uh... Off to the summit. Oh, not through here, I guess. Yeah, there aren't any enemies down here. I don't think. At least there aren't any Falmer. Nuts. Need advice? Well, you can pick up where I left off. My notes should still be in my journal, if you can read it. Beyond that, well, maybe one of our predecessors still has a clue. Okay. So... Now if, oh, whoops, yeah. What the hell am I doing? Read Katria's journal. <sighs> Bottom one is one, that one is two. Then you read the scrap of paper That one is three. And then logic dictates that the next one would be, in fact, four. So. One. Oh. Guess we have to hit the orb. One. Two. 
to. Oh, come on. Three. did the one in the middle. Five. Alright. Wait, what kind of arrow? Oh, these are dwarven. Don't mind if I do. I never noticed these before. Free dwarven arrows. Just take all these dwarven arrows because why waste them? Why waste them, you know? Who's using them? No one. Alright. That was about a good at least ten dwarven arrows right there. It is real. What is this? Let me see it. Hmm. Look, on the edge here. This has been cut. Precisely cut. If you had another piece about the same size, it would, it would snap right in. I saw a drawing of this once. This shard. It's, it's part of a key. A key made of pure ethereum. A key to the forge. Oh. Find the other pieces, of course. There should be hmm, three more. One for each of the four cities that worked on the forge. I had a map in my journal. That's where we should start. Yay? Oh, yeah, from the storeroom. We still have to find the forge itself. I had a lead on that, too. So much to do. I'm going to head out and start tracking things down. We'll meet again. I'm sure of it. Yeah, she's... First time in a long while. I think I, we, may actually be able to do this. And, and I owe it all to you. Thank you. Yeah, she's pretty lively for a ghost. You know, going out, searching up leads and all that. Oh, nice. We can sell those to turn a little profit, I think. And, uh... So since we're done here, I'm gonna go ahead and mark and recall my way out of here. How the hell did I get Kreesamir? I'm sorry, I just legit don't even remember. Where the fuck was it that I got that?
there's no enemies here. Always save new. That's how a lot of my saves, my recent playthroughs, have lasted for so long. So I always save new. And I now have more than one backup save in the old days of, of uh, gaming. You know, in Final Fantasy VI was on Super Nintendo as three and... Earthbound in those games that, you know, it was unheard of for me to have multiple save slots because it was like, oh, that's if you want to start a new game. No, because if you screw up, you have a place you can go back to. Of course, we all know this, but back then it was like, you know. I know other people did that too, and they still do it. What is this, a bandit camp? Oh, these are hunters. Now if, if I can help it, I will usually prefer to walk or ride a, you know, ride a horse or something. I'd say vehicle, but Skyrim, it's only cannon vehicles are usually horses or that that region's you know that province's uh mount of choice like a morrowind you'd have silt striders oh we are going i need to go to windhelm so i can sell this junk off and Make some money. Are you fucking kidding me, bitch? Right now? Really? Fucking cunt? Yeah, go to hell, you fucking cunt. Oh, I get pissed. I get mad. With these shitty sneak cunt enemies. Oh, the bears. How is a big fucking fat... 200 something pound bear... Going to sneakily amble up on you like, like it's a cheetah or something. And not make any sound. I'm just not buying it. And it's bad enough we have these sneak fuck wolves that show up everywhere. And you don't know that they're there until they're biting your balls off. I mean, Jesus. I hate wolves in this game. Wolves are officially... their Bears are bad. Okay, any type of nuisance enemy bears, crabs in this game, they take it to the extreme. Okay, but wolves are, de facto, the new motherfucking cliff racer. I will fight anyone who says differently. Wolves are the new cliff racers. Believe me, I was young and naive, and I started out more when hearing about cliff racers, and I, oh, I haven't seen a single one. I don't know what everyone's talking about. Didn't take long. But at least you could use levitate and fly up and smack the fuckers in the head with a uh, a sword, you know, or an axe or whatever. I'm gonna hang out here in the elven... the elven bar. Until the store's open. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. I can't remember if... if I have a room mod installed or not. Apparently, some Nord women were murdered. Not sure why I should care. Oh no, I don't I have a room. Drink, I'll be right here. 
So I'm just going to sit here and wait for a few hours. There was a really good mod out there uh, where you could rent a room. This guy's another follower, I think, yeah. I'm not really doing followers on this one. I had C uh, Katria follow me because, you know, she's a part of the whole um, Ethereum quest, so, you know, I just figure it's kind of a appropriate to have her along. Is he open? Okay, good. Let me know if you see anything you like. Good to see you. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Let's see here. I need to sell this and this. And I need to sell this. And this. And this. And that. Good luck on your travels. Okay, I'll go visit uh Naranya, or whatever her name is, that the high elf lady. Sell her some junk, and then... I would love to live in a rustic, old, you know, antiquated city, like a real-life city like, like Windhelm. You know, and I my mind immediately goes to like Europe like Germany and I used to live in Germany but we lived oh I don't want to do this quest yet but I think it would be really cool to live in like um, you know put modern housing inside of like a you know within the walls of an old castle town you could even use the old castle as I don't like haggle. if you want to lower I'm afraid I have absolutely no idea what you're speaking of. Oh, really, lady? Well, if you insist. Here, this is for you. you oh, you don't for, remember, huh? Leave. Take a look. What an unbelievable snob. It's almost like she doesn't want to make money. I don't know what you're talking about, honey. Thank you for the... I can't remember if I did his quests or not. The Great War. Did we really save the Empire? Help the Dark Elf? The Dark Elf. I guess they think I can... I'm trying, but Ulfric is set in his ways. For him, there's two kinds of... That's too bad. Nords. That's too bad. Yeah, I'm not going to jog on foot all the way back to Riften. 
I will in fact take a carriage. I'm I'm using anti uh, vampire attack mods because it's ridiculous how that DLC forces itself on you. It's like you're level ten. You want there's a whole world of Skyrim to explore. Like why in the hell would you want to get bogged down? You know with with doing. Uh, you know, the vampire stuff. I think I got about eight minutes or so, just a little less than eight minutes on this recording. And then I'll start right? a new one. Where do you want to go? Climb and back and we'll be off. What? I can take you to any of the hold cap. Where do you want to go? Climb and back and we'll be off. Yeah, I want to go to Riften. The first time you told me to climb in, I didn't even make a, a selection. <laughs> Did anyone notice or remember that in Morrowind, money was called drakes? Or it was called gold, but it was also they were referred to as drakes. And then here in Oblivion, in Skyrim, they're called Septims, but they're still called Gold. It's kind of... kind of weird. You see how it's prices? Live for thousands of years. See into other people's thoughts. You gonna buy some? Hey, I told you not to ask any questions. Here's your reward, as promised. Protect yourself right. I'm not sure if that was like in the main game or not. Only twenty septums each. Greetings, honor. Take a look. <sighs> garnets and flawless garnets are pretty useless. You can't do anything with them. But you need three flawless amethysts for, uh. Safe travels, Lance. You know that one guy. Buy some armor. Good to see you. Just what you see here. She's like, why are you selling me shit? You're supposed to be buying, not selling. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay. Let's see. What? Earth Atronach? I definitely don't remember that. Okay. So Lost the Ages. 
search for the ethereum shards I can't remember off the top of my head where all of the other shards are and uh, when I tried doing Mazinchalif I got murdered so I need to level my sneaking up really before I decide to I'm training from uh Delve in and then uh, call this uh, session a night. Huh, I never noticed that. That tipped over bench lying there. Um, this Dwemerologist playthrough might just end at the end of the, uh, what is this quest that we're on right now? Lost to the Ages, which means the boss of that one might be... Stick with me, and he'll never even know you're there. Okay. So I gotta level up some more, then train some more. And, uh, we'll be good. You know, I feel oddly at home playing Skyrim. Because I think it's all the time I spent putting in hours into it. And if it was a shitty game, no one would be playing it. It would not have the modding community that it has. And that's just a fact. People can sit here, oh, it's a shitty game, it's bug-ridden, it's, it's got issues. Yeah, those are all true. But it's not a shitty game. You know, opinions are like assholes, everyone's got one. But... You know... So I'm going to go ahead and save. And I'll uh, see everyone in the next one.